Hello and welcome to our 15th video in the series on automotive sensors. In this series, we will explain the function and working of each automotive sensor in detail. Today we are going to discuss something critical for the health of your car's transmission. The transmission temperature sensor will explore what they are, how they work, and why they are crucial for your vehicle's performance. See description for links to the playlist. Let's get started. So what exactly is a transmission temperature sensor? In simple words, this sensor monitors the temperature of the transmission fluid in your car. This fluid helps cool and lubricate the transmission components, much like how oil keeps an engine running smoothly. Think of the transmission fluid as the blood in your body. Just like a fever tells you something is wrong with your body, a temperature rise in the transmission fluid signals issues in your transmission system. Now why is this sensor so important? If the transmission fluid overheats, it can damage your transmission leading to costly repairs or even total failure. The sensor sends information to your car's computer so it knows when to activate cooling mechanisms or warn you via the dashboard light. Imagine driving in heavy traffic during a hot summer day. The last thing you want is to be stranded because your transmission overheated. The temperature sensor helps prevent such situations by keeping things in check. First, where is the sensor located? The transmission temperature sensor is placed in the transmission fluid line. The fluid flows around the transmission, cooling and lubricating its components. The sensor is placed directly in this fluid so that it can constantly monitor the temperature. It's like placing a thermometer in a pot of boiling water to keep an eye on the water's temperature. The sensor is doing something similar inside your car's transmission. Let's break down how the transmission temperature sensor works step by step. The sensor measures the temperature of the transmission fluid. This is done through either a resistive element or a thermocouple. As the fluid heats up, the sensor detects the temperature change. In a resistive sensor, the resistance changes depending on how hot the fluid is. While in a thermocouple, it generates a small voltage as the temperature changes. Once the temperature is measured, the sensor converts this into an electrical signal. This signal is then sent to the car's engine control unit, or ECU. The ECU is like the brain of your car, it takes this information and processes it. Now the ECU compares the temperature data with preset values. If the fluid is too hot, it may trigger a warning light on your dashboard. In some cars, the ECU can even activate cooling fans or change the way the transmission shifts to prevent overheating. Think of it like a smart air conditioner at home. When it gets too hot, the AC automatically turns on to cool things down. It works similarly to keep your transmission running smoothly. Finally, if the transmission fluid reaches a dangerous temperature, the ECU will alert you through the dashboard light. This is a signal that something is wrong and it's time to check your transmission. Imagine your kitchen oven has a temperature gauge. If the oven overheats, it might beep to warn you. Your car's transmission system does the same thing through the sensor and the ECU, so that's how the transmission temperature sensor works. It's a small part, but it plays a big role in keeping your car's transmission safe. Make sure to pay attention to those dashboard warnings and keep your transmission in good shape. There are mainly two types of transmission temperature sensors, resistive sensors and thermocouples. Resistive sensors change their resistance based on the fluid temperature, while thermocouples generate a small voltage depending on the temperature. Both do the same job, but use different methods. So how do you know if your transmission temperature sensor is failing? Here are some common signs. A warning light appears on your dashboard. The transmission is overheating frequently. Delayed shifting or rough gear changes. Your car might even go into limp mode meaning it won't drive properly to prevent further damage. If you've ever noticed your car struggling to change gears, especially when it's hot, that could be a sign of a faulty temperature sensor. If you suspect your transmission temperature sensor is faulty, you can test it yourself. Here's how. Refer to your vehicle's manual to find the exact location. Set your multimeter to measure resistance or voltage, depending on the type of sensor. Disconnect the sensor and check the readings. Compare them with the manufacturer's specifications. If they're out of range, the sensor might be faulty. Sometimes it's not the sensor, but a wiring issue. Make sure the connections are secure and not corroded. It's like checking if your thermostat at home is working properly by comparing the room temperature to the actual reading. If they don't match, you know something's wrong. Now you know what a transmission temperature sensor is, why it's important, how it works and how to check if it's faulty. Don't ignore those warning signs taking care of small issues today can prevent big problems tomorrow. Our next video in this series will be on G-Force sensors. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more automotive tutorials. Thank you for watching and drive safely.